In a world saturated with fleeting trends and ephemeral distractions, it's easy to feel unmoored, lost in the relentless current of the everyday. Yet, amidst this chaos, there exists a beacon of enduring wisdom, a lighthouse guiding us towards inner peace and clarity. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius Penned not as a polished treatise but as a private journal, this collection of personal reflections offers a rare glimpse into the mind of a Roman emperor grappling with the complexities of life, leadership, and the human condition. Written during his military campaigns, Meditations is a testament to the timelessness of Stoic philosophy, its principles as relevant and resonant today as they were in the second century AD. More than just a historical artifact, it's a practical guide to navigating the challenges of existence, a source of solace and strength for those seeking to live a life of purpose and tranquility. These fragmented thoughts often jotted down in the heat of the moment, reveal Aurelius's commitment to living a virtuous life, reminding us that true power lies not in external circumstances, but in our internal response to them. As we delve into the depths of meditations, we embark on a journey of self-discovery, guided by the wisdom of a philosopher king whose insights continue to inspire and enlighten centuries later. Marcus Aurelius was not just an emperor, he was a philosopher king, a rare breed of leader who embodied wisdom, justice, and reason. Unlike many rulers consumed by power and its trappings, Aurelius found solace in philosophy, particularly Stoicism, which emphasized virtue, duty, and acceptance of fate. His reign, marked by wars, plagues, and political turmoil, served as a testing ground for his Stoic principles, shaping him into the epitome of a philosopher king. Imagine shouldering the immense weight of an empire, facing constant threats both internal and external, yet finding the time and mental fortitude to reflect upon virtue, justice, and the meaning of life. Aurelius's Meditations provides us with a unique window into this process, revealing the inner workings of a mind dedicated to living in accordance with nature and reason, even amidst the chaos of ruling a vast empire. It is in this crucible of leadership that Aurelius's wisdom was forged. He understood that true power lay not in dominating others, but in mastering oneself, in conquering the inner turmoil that plagues us all. His writings are a testament to this belief, offering timeless advice on how to cultivate self-control, navigate adversity, and find peace within, regardless of external circumstances. One of the most powerful concepts that resonates throughout meditations is the stoic dichotomy of control. Aurelius reminds us that we can only control our own thoughts and actions, not external events. By focusing on what we can influence, our own internal state, we free ourselves from the tyranny of worrying about things beyond our control. This simple yet profound idea is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, offering a pathway to inner peace amidst the chaos of life. It's a reminder that true freedom lies not in trying to bend the world to our will, but in accepting what is and focusing on our own reactions to it. Aurelius encourages us to ask ourselves, is this within my control? If the answer is yes, we should act with wisdom and courage. If not, we should accept it with tranquility, recognizing that our energy is better spent elsewhere. This practice of differentiating between what we can and cannot control is not about passive resignation. It's about empowering ourselves to focus on what truly matters, our own thoughts, actions, and responses to the world around us. Death, a topic often avoided in polite conversation, takes center stage in Aurelius's meditations. He reminds us of our own mortality, not to instill fear, but to inspire us to live each day to the fullest. By contemplating our inevitable end, we gain a fresh perspective on the preciousness of time and the importance of living a meaningful life. Aurelius's reflections on death are not morbid, they are a call to action. He urges us to live with a sense of urgency, to make the most of each day as if it were our last. This doesn't mean living recklessly, but rather living intentionally, embracing each moment and striving to leave a positive mark on the world. In the face of our own mortality, Aurelius reminds us that true happiness lies not in accumulating wealth or possessions, but in living virtuously, in aligning our actions with our principles. By focusing on what truly matters, we can face death with courage and acceptance, knowing that we have lived a life worthy of remembrance. Section 5. The Importance of Now 
In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in regrets about the past and anxieties about the future. Aurelius, however, reminds us that the only moment we truly have is the present. He encourages us to savor each experience, to be fully present in the here and now, rather than dwelling on what was or worrying about what might be. This emphasis on the present moment is a key tenet of Stoicism, offering a pathway to greater peace and contentment. By letting go of our attachments to the past and anxieties about the future, we free ourselves to fully embrace the richness of the present moment. Aurelius reminds us that the past is gone and the future is uncertain. The only thing we can control is how we choose to live in this very moment. By practicing mindfulness, by paying attention to our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment, we can cultivate a sense of peace and presence in our lives. Section 6. Accepting what is. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. We face setbacks, disappointments, and challenges that test our resilience. Aurelius, through his writings, teaches us the importance of accepting what is, rather than railing against the inevitable. This doesn't mean resigning ourselves to a life of passivity. It means acknowledging what we cannot control and choosing to focus our energy on what we can. Acceptance, in the Stoic sense, is not about giving up. It's about recognizing that struggling against what is beyond our control only creates unnecessary suffering. It's about surrendering to the present moment, accepting it for what it is, and then choosing our response. When we learn to accept the things we cannot change, we free ourselves from the burden of resentment, anger, and frustration. We create space for peace, clarity, and a renewed sense of purpose. This acceptance, Aurelius reminds us, is not a sign of weakness, but of strength, a testament to our ability to adapt and thrive in the face of adversity. Even in the darkest of times, Aurelius reminds us that there is always good to be found. He encourages us to cultivate an attitude of gratitude, to focus on the positive aspects of our lives, no matter how small they may seem. This practice of seeking out the good is not about ignoring the bad, but about training our minds to see the world through a more optimistic lens. In the midst of challenges, it's easy to become overwhelmed by negativity. Aurelius reminds us that our perspective shapes our reality. By actively seeking out the good, we shift our focus from what's wrong to what's right, cultivating a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the blessings in our lives. This practice of finding the good is not about denying the existence of suffering or hardship. It's about choosing to focus on the positive, on the things that bring us joy, purpose, and meaning. By doing so, we cultivate a more resilient and optimistic outlook, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with greater grace and fortitude. A central theme in Stoicism, and one that resonates throughout meditations, is the importance of living in accordance with nature. This doesn't necessarily mean abandoning society and living in the wilderness, but rather aligning our lives with the rational order of the universe. For Stoics, nature is synonymous with reason, virtue, and the cosmic order. Living in accordance with nature means embracing these principles, striving to live a life of virtue, reason, and purpose. It means recognizing our interconnectedness with all things and acting in a way that benefits not only ourselves, but also the greater good. Aurelius reminds us that we are all part of something much larger than ourselves. By aligning our actions with the principles of nature, we find our place in the grand scheme of things, experiencing a sense of belonging and purpose that transcends our individual lives. For Aurelius, the pursuit of virtue was the ultimate goal of life. He believed that virtue encompassing wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance was the key to true happiness and fulfillment. External factors, he argued, were fleeting and ultimately out of our control. But virtue was something we could cultivate within ourselves. In a world often obsessed with material possessions and external validation, Aurelius's emphasis on virtue may seem counterintuitive. Yet, his words ring truer than ever in our modern age. True happiness, he reminds us, comes not from what we acquire, but from who we are at our core. By striving to live virtuously, by making choices that align with our values and principles, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and fulfillment that transcends external circumstances. This pursuit of virtue is a lifelong journey, one that requires constant self-reflection, discipline, and a commitment to becoming the best versions of ourselves. 
Meditations is more than just a collection of philosophical musings. It's a blueprint for living a life of meaning, purpose, and resilience. Aurelius's words, though penned centuries ago, offer timeless wisdom that transcends time and culture. His insights into the human condition, the nature of happiness, and the importance of virtue provide us with invaluable guidance as we navigate the complexities of our modern world. In an age of distraction and uncertainty, Meditations offers a path to inner peace, reminding us that true happiness lies not in external circumstances, but in our own internal state. By embracing Aurelius's teachings on self-control, acceptance, and the pursuit of virtue, we can cultivate a life of meaning, purpose, and resilience, no matter what challenges we may face. Mm -hmm.